just in the past hour, we've had a complete changeover, you know, heavy snow coming down and, and just about every county in the Northwest and River Valley area. I'm going to read you what I just got in from one of my crews. Uh, conditions have dramatically changed, uh, drastically changed uh, snow and ice from Mena to the Missouri line over to Harrison border. We've got five reported accidents in right now in the Northwest area. Uh, most of those are along I-49. Washington County, for example, fast, heavy snow being reported. Interstate 49, Alma over uh, to the county line there, Benton County line. Uh, so, yeah, we've got quick changing conditions. What we're experiencing out there, we've got enough slush and snow to now plow. We're doing that, but, of course, it's coming down uh, quicker than I think everyone anticipated. So by the time we come around and make that second pass, it's already snow covered again, especially mm -hmm. the inside left lane, the passing lane, uh, the, the, the lane that should get less traffic. It's seeing more and more problems. Uh, so we're, we're getting out there. We had a shift change at seven, bringing in more people. Uh, mm -hmm. So you'll see more of our plows out there. So please uh, give us a little more space. And naturally, in these conditions, allow yourself more braking distance uh, altogether. Uh, Dave, thank you so much for keeping us informed. And now uh, we're looking at the cameras and we're seeing snow covered roads and these are pre treated roads that we're talking about here. And you also said the word ice, which we have not really heard all morning long. We've mainly been talking about snowflakes, but now a big concern is the ice, isn't it? Yeah, the pre treatment of the roads, actually the salt brine that we put down yesterday through the night, it will uh, lower that freezing temperature. So it, it, it takes it tougher to turn to that ice and it allows it to build up more to become slush versus ice. That's what we're able to scrape away. Uh, yeah, we do have some icy areas in, in the, you know, uh, through the district. So you've got to be careful of that, about that. No matter how much uh, pre-treatment and planning you do, you're still going to have icy patches. And again, one little spot can create a big, big situation as we see there near the Bobby Hopper. Mm. All right, Dave Parker, thank you so much.